I have learned that you can now add a video to your Facebook cover image. How do you create photo with that video as part of that cover image? Specifically, he does not want the video to take up the entire space. He doesn't want it to be stretched, etc. He's looking for help. Uh, here's the next question, which comes from Garrison. Uh, Garrison said, I have learned that you can now add a video to your Facebook cover image. How do you create photo with that video as part of that cover image? Specifically, he does not want the video to take up the entire space. He doesn't want it to be stretched, etc. He's looking for help. Well, I made a note of his question. I was absolutely going to talk about it in today's show. But before I even got to do that, one of our community members, Peter, jumped in and said, Garrison, I've got your solution. This is what he found. When you go to the cover and choose a video section, you'll get this warning. It'll tell you if any of your videos in your library qualify as a cover video, and it specifies these videos must be between 20 and 90 seconds and be at least 820 by 312 pixels. And the recommended size is 820 by 462. Once again, the recommended size for your cover video is 820 by 462. That's 820 by 462 pixels. So what Peter is suggesting here and what I was also going to say is if you want to do a, a video in kind of a what uh, Peter refers to it as picture in picture. So if you make that image, let's say that this right here is 800 and 820 pixels wide and you only want a video to take up half of it so you're going to you're going to have to create a custom video for yourself. I use Premiere Pro, but there's a lot of other great tools that are out there. Maybe some of our audience can suggest some tools that you can use to do this. Another tool that I use is called Spark Post, which is by Adobe and it has the capability of creating some animated GIFs or videos within it, that might be helpful. But if you create that template of an 820, and then the whole thing can be a still image, you can put the moving video as just part of it. Let's say it's half of it. So that's going to be 410 pixels. And then the other 410 pixels is a static image, or it says the words, Garrison Fletcher, super amazing graphic designer and psychologist, learn more at Apex Type and Graphics something like that. And then you still have the video over here. I'm going to play with that in the next couple of weeks uh, just to see how that how that turns out, how that looks. I don't have an example for you today. I have not created it yet, but I'm going to play with it and I'll let you know. I'll probably do that in one of my Facebook groups or uh, uh, pages and let you know how that works. OK, Garrison, if you have any follow up questions on that or comments for Peter, please do chime in. Uh, I'll keep my eye down there on the comment screen. And I want to shout out to Peter. Thank you for answering that question. That's totally the right answer. That's what I would have said, uh, as a matter of fact. So, but it does create a little extra work, right? Because you're going to have to create a, the video is technically going to be the whole thing, even if only half of it is moving. And you see that a lot right now on social media. Have you seen the videos where the video is in the middle and then there's like a top strip and a bottom strip that st says something or stays still while the video in the middle moves? Same kind of concept. And there's apps and tools that can help you create those. I have not played with a lot of them. I, I do things like the hard way, the old fashioned way on the computer, but there's a lot of apps that make those things easier. So chime in, let us know what you think about those apps, what's helpful, what's not, what you like. Um, there's some computer programs that are coming to my mind, but I don't want to say yet what they are. Um, until I learn more about them. OK, thanks, Garrison, so much for your question. Thanks, Peter, for jumping in with that great answer. That's why I love this community, because you're going to get the answers to questions that you ask before we even get to the show. Right. Isn't that fantastic? So thanks to you both um, for that. Appreciate it.